morning, everyone. This is the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Conquest of Elysium 3. Um, this is uh, my second attempt to record this. I had to uh, scrap the last one due to a mixture of things, mainly uh, fraps crashing on me, and I think I was a little concerned about that. It did seem to mess up the, uh, the final parts of the recording, and I was kind of considering starting over anyway due to the, um, the fact that some of the information I, I didn't well, let's just say I didn't know all the information there was to know for the uh, Necromancer. Um, we did finish the Pale Ones, and as of recording this now, sorry, that's my MSN, um, well, I'm up to ten, uh, 20 subscribers now, so uh, welcome, and thank you guys for uh, your support, and I uh, hope you guys can continue to enjoy watching my videos. Um, so as I mentioned, we'll be doing the uh, Necromancer. We're going to do Fallen Empire. I, it's just, these will be the same things I did last time, but uh, you guys won't see it because I had to the recording. But um, I'll go ahead and explain the things I did learn from uh, my playing of it. The Necromancer is... Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, go for, over the info. The, the main th benefit to the Necromancer is they're able to... Uh, they have summons which involve undead, of course, but they also have the ability to raise dead and, uh, in areas where there's uh, dead bodies, which can include the... Uh, old battlefields, graveyards, or even just places that ha where battles happen that have happened. Like if you kill a large group of monsters, you can actually raise the dead right there and get some units. The problem with raised dead though is, um, now while any necromancer can do it, it always costs, um, you end up getting a debuff every time you do it, and it's a stackable debuff. You end up getting insanity 6 every time. What uh, insanity does is, um, the higher the rating is, the, well, every point of insanity represents a 1% chance that you will not act on, on your next turn. So, um, if you do a lot of uh, raised deads, you can effectively make your uh, unit completely useless. So, it, it suggests that you use the, uh, your apprentices to do a lot of the uh, raised deads. My suggestion is to never use it until, unless you see a, uh, unless you happen to find a strong presence of dead. If you don't find a strong presence of dead, don't use it, because it's not worth it. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get this started. Um, one of the disadvantages is they use hands for their, um, to do their summons. Um, but the problem with hands, though, is you can only get it from very, like, populated areas, like, um, well, you can get them in populated er areas or gallows, which are the only faction so far that use gallows. So, um, let's go ahead and get this started, and I'll show, show it to you. Okay, we will be Witterick. As you can see, we start with gallows. Alright, gallows is um, th worth three hands. We start with a dark citadel, which is worth practically nothing, and a farm. So we don't really start out with very many resources. The uh, hands of glory do add up over time, but it's uh, it can be kind of tough to um, make use of. And really, Ancient Forest right here, that's going to really cause problems for us. Alright, Raise Dead, um, as you can see right here, it says, Carl, you cannot feel the presence of dead here. It's based off the, um, the Necromancer's current position. Uh, so your starting spot in the Citadel has no presence of the dead. Which is kind of odd telling, you know, it's, an un your, it's the un your capital, and you probably have a lot of Necromancers there. But, um, if you can't feel presence of the dead here, you can't raise dead. It can be, um, you can feel like a minor presence of dead, uh, just a presence of dead, or like a strong presence of dead. And really, you should aim for the strong presence of dead. Um, you can, might be able to get some decent amount of units from, uh, like a regular presence, but sometimes it's borderline, just regular, and you'll end up just getting like a lot of nothing. Um, raised dead will only get you long deads and soulless. So that's something to keep in mind. The, the long dead are pretty good. The soulless, uh, they're slow, and that's a, that's something I've kind of don't like to deal with anymore. I like moving three spaces as opposed to two. Um, minor summon is just like any other uh, faction summoning ability, but it's all uh, undead. You'll summon things like uh, spectral knights and stuff like that. Which will, and this is the upgrade. This will bring uh, bring this apprentice to the necromancer. But. Um, Something about the regular Necromancer, though, is he gets access to Major Summoning, but that's not the only thing. He also gets access to Summon Legion, which is going to be used on a battlefield. Um, I didn't really test this one out. Um, I've, I did a Raised Dead on a battlefield, and that seemed to work out fine. Um, another thing about the summons, these don't cost, these don't give you insanity, but Raised Dead does. 
but raised dead doesn't cost hands. So that's something to keep to, you know keep in mind. Um, cast dark knowledge. All this does is it's a scry for um, areas with large amounts of uh, dead. So like it 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 may like reveal like a, a battlefield, but uh, when I tested it out on my uh, failed run, um, it revealed like an ancient temple. And when I f went there, I ended up getting a lot of units there. And then nearby there, there was also um, a battlefield. So I quickly got a hundred something units. Fortunately, by that time, I had 50-something insanity, so every other turn I couldn't do anything, and that was if I was lucky. But, um, transform into a vampire. Um, this is, if you're a necromancer, you can transform into a vampire. If you're the next thing up, which is, I think, like, a, an arc necromancer, I don't remember. But, um, if you're the next level up, you can't become a vampire, but you can, this will be replaced with a lich. You can become a lich. But uh, as you can see, the key part here is uh, for, to be, to, you need 125 hands, and you have to be in an old castle. For a lich, it's 250 hands, and you have to be at a, uh, a temple or ancient temple. So that's you have to you know be able to do. You have to find those places first, and then spend the hands, and oh, and get the necromancer there, and spend the hands. Um, the key advantages, though, is as a vampire, you can. Um, there's a there's supposedly an ability that allow you to like feast on villages and stuff, and that will like lower insanity. For a lich, though, they are completely immune to insanity, and um, once you become a lich, you can just freely use race dead all you want, and then you can just mass produce an army of you know long dead or whatever. Um, recruits, you can get a lot of the standard units: uh, spearmen, swordsmen, archers, crossbows, and heavy infantry, and then you have catapults. So it's really you do really get a good choice of human units as well. Now uh, let's go over spells. Uh, these spells are a little bit better, not too much better. A lot of them involve decay and stuff, and um, doing life drain and uh, stuff like that, and summoning undead, of course. And then there's fear spells. Let's see what? Not too good of spells. And bolt of on life, which reanimates de uh, things it kills. All right, that's what we're starting with. All right, we got 13 units, uh, dwarves nearby, and two deer. We're gonna go ahead and um, let's go ahead and move our apprentice to right here. Now let's use special power. You can feel presence of dead here. So there you go. It's right here. There's some there's a, some undead here. I'm gonna go ahead and use it, even though I said to not use it. <laughs> I'll go ahead and save first, though. As you can see, I did attempt this before with Necro One. I could have probably continued and maybe salvaged the video, but like I was literally taking absolutely forever to get anywhere. I did something kind of reckless, like I did the scry, and I ended up like revealing like there was a uh, like a, a place the with strong presence of dead like down here, and I, I made a beeline straight for it. And while it, I definitely took out a lot of guys doing this, um, I couldn't defend anything, <laughs> and it just uh, it was bad. So. It was, it was going to be a long, a very long game, and I didn't really want to put you guys through it, or put me through it. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and uh, use the special power, and hopefully we'll get a decent number. Alright, seven long dead, and six soulless. So there you go. You can now only feel a slight presence of dead, so if you do it again, you'll probably only get like one of each, or maybe two if you're lucky. But um, if you look at his stats, you'll notice he has Insanity 6 now. So that is something you have to kind of keep in mind. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and head downwards, and I'm going to transfer units. I didn't take them with me. I'm not smart. Yeah, that was my bad. Alright, transfer units. Take all these units. Take all those units. You move up. I didn't take the units with me, did I? No, I did take them. Okay. Because there's a summon, so it automatically gets assigned. I'm going to take the long dead, but, and... Uh, yeah, that's all we'll take. We'll leave the, uh, we'll leave the Solus to, to defend the base. So there you go. If I went to this farm, there's a chance there would have been, like, slight presence of dead here as well. So it's just, like, places that are populated can have it, or just places where you fought before. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Okay, they moved away. That's nice. One scout. Uh, one thing that you definitely kind of need, at least for um, the Empire setting, is you do need a scout. It's It was, like, I had bandits all over me, and, like, stealth mantises and crazy junk. So I'm going to go ahead and get this scout, like, now. Okay, we'll 
we'll go ahead and transfer units, take this scout, and we'll move down. Yeah, exactly. See? Just all around us. Alright, we're going to go ahead and, um, well, I'll just leave the scout there for now. We have 21 units to go against these dwarves. I do have crossbowmen, I do have magic. So, hopefully that's enough. And let's, uh, let's see if we can pull this off. Like, after this fight, I can actually probably raise dead here as well and get more units, but I'm not, because it's going to make me go bonkers. Eight units, mostly soulless. Let's go ahead and, um, did I already transfer it? Good. Let's go ahead and take these, uh, scouts out. There's a force troll here. Good to know. Enter. <laughs> And I think I just killed my entire unit. Yeah, yeah that didn't go well. I need to get some undead, but... Whatever, just kill that. I'm gonna go ahead and just reset. Yeah, it seemed to have... My last run, it, it looked, looked like an okay start. Like, I had barely anything around me. And then all of a sudden I had nothing but, like, mana cores and just constant, um... Constant units around me. Just, like, constant bandits, stealth units, and other stuff. Yeah, yeah, load game. Necromancer. Alright. So, did I already... Yeah, let's go ahead and do this again. This time, let's not be dumb and, uh, transfer these units. Okay, now let's go ahead and um, use special power. Race to seven long dead. Seven soulless this time, so it is a little random. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, transfer units. Warning. I mean, if I combined all my units, I might have been able to take on these guys, but it's really a pain in the butt to fight these dwarves. <laughs> it really is. We're gonna leave the long dead behind and just move them up. We obviously know there's a bandit and there's something there, so let's transfer units, take these fellows, and, um, yeah, I'm just gonna head on down this way, and turn. The key thing we do need to figure out is, are we on the left side? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's, um, head on this way. Uh, we got a coal mine here. Captain this time, no scout. Druid's been taken out already. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Goblin Chieftain. We also get goblins. Um, whenever the Goblin Chieftain pops up, uh, ten goblins will also be available. Two goblins. Nothing special. Let's, uh, we need iron. So we can get the, uh, we definitely need that town. Let's go ahead and uh, end our turn. Nice. You can probably guess what just took that. Okay, we got the coal mine. Uh, I have 20 units. Okay, they're all spears. Okay, this might be doable. At least they're not dwarves, so... I r really want the extra hands. Like, definitely. <laughs> A lot of uh, decent sized forces. I really don't like the decay spell. <laughs> it's not bad, it's just. It's just not useful for uh, attacking. It's more of like a defense spell. Whoa, hello. And you are? Seven units here, Master Swordsman. These are enchanters. Cool. We have 12 units left, unfortunately, and they kind of, uh... Chanters usually just have, uh, buffs and stuff. Special power. Strong Presence of Dead here. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I, I said I would use it on Strong Presence. So, let's go ahead and raise Dead here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Some of these are weak units, though. Looks like some of these were prior goblins, maybe? And a lot of those. Alright. Slight presence now. All right. So now he also has a uh, six insanity. 
It's just you gotta be careful with this, because even 6% can uh, trigger and you'll be screwed. So now we have 38 units, so let's go ahead and take these 7 out. You, on the other hand, need to head back. Yeah, let's go ahead and move you back. We'll hang out here, recruit units, nothing. Alright, so let's uh, end our turn. Alright, uh, we took out the enchanter, and that's, uh, I believe, uh, more, uh, I believe that was more, um, well, that's a necromancer and three apprentices. So, anything here? Yeah, we can get a scout, finally. Let's go ahead and get a scout. Now I can see those. And, uh, that's all our actions right now, so let's end our turn. We're getting five hands per, uh, month now, thanks to the town. And the town's also giving us a lot of money. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I see what you're doing. Okay, the issue here is dealing with the bear. I don't think the bear has enough movement. Nine units can I don't know if I can actually fight these guys though. Ten hit points. Ten hit points versus three spears. What worries me is the fact these guys do one... Well, these guys do two damage. So this could get very ugly very quickly. So I'm gonna just wait. I'll wait. I'll go ahead and wait him out and see where he wanders. He's probably gonna try. He's probably gonna take the gallows, and I hope that bear attacks him. Okay. He's probably gonna do a summon. Yep, he just summoned. He ended up getting like two, three long dead and five soulless. Eighteen units. Let's go ahead and uh, take these guys out. Let's, uh, actually, we can do a minor summon. Let's, um, I never really got, uh, it showed off a few of them in the last game, so I'll go ahead and, uh, in my failed, uh, failed game, so I'll go ahead and show it off here. Shade. Okay, that's, that's something I didn't see before. And I just clicked the wrong thing. Sorry if you hear my chair, chair squeaky. Uh, shades. They are ethereal, touch of the dead, uh, wonderful cold damage weakness. They also have stealth and cold immunity and all the standard stuff that uh, Undead have. So not too bad. That puts us at 39 units. Let's go ahead and take out this Necromancer. We can't really do much about these guys here, unfortunately. Um, but uh, we'll definitely be able to take them out in a moment. So let's end our turn. Let's see how we do here. Do you have better spells than me? Eh, it looks like you do. No, you don't. Not too not really anything good against uh, undead, unfortunately. He did take out freaking one of my um, one of my crossbowmen. What was that? It says affected, but I don't think it actually did anything. Wow. It's really about luck and who get, gets the spell better spells off first. It's a little annoying. Uh, we won. Alright. Snake there. We can't do much about that. Feels up presence of dead. That's not really good enough. I mean, what do you have? Okay, we fought the bigger that was the that was the uh, the the regular necromancer. This is just a, this is just an apprentice. He has six insanity. Nothing but long dead spears, and I have nothing but long uh, soulless and a few crossbowmen. I kind of want to wipe them out. So, what can I do? I could do this, and then I'll add two units. Sure, we'll do that, and we can get this gallo on the way. There we go. Let's end our turn. Let's see how we do. Oh, we do have this shade still. I think. I can't... You can't even see them. <laughs> They're black. It's like that uh, Lord of the... Lord of Hell or whatever I summoned in that demon knowledge run through. 
Alright, we killed them. Alright, so the necromancers are gone. And so are enchanters. So our, I think our two neighbors are gone. Now what we need to do is they came from this way, so we need to go up this way and take their gallows. <laughs> Speaking of, slight presence. Okay, nothing. Nothing worthwhile. Let's end our turn. We need to get moving. Carl went, Carl went crazy with a 6% chance. Nifty. You can see by the red border. It's also pink if he has actual other units. So let's transfer units, take his scout, and just run for it. We'll go to these... Uh, not really many options here. We'll go here. And uh, end our turn. Pretty much when you're insane, you can't move that, that action. Which I just got on the other character. Yeah, so you came in as insane, won't move. Cannot feel presence. Yeah, he took the last of it. Alright, good enough. Transfer units, take those. And you'll just hang out there for now. Can we get any more... Oh, if we can buy a... No, we're just short of a scout. So, let's um, go ahead and uh, center here and end our turn. Yeah, that's a little, little troublesome. Let's, um, we do have long dead, so we are stuck with some slow units, but it's kind of a necessary evil now. Let's uh, go up this way. And, oh yeah, that's right, you sentried. Unsentry, take that back. Back of Mo shows right there. Okay. And turn. I wish I had like a fire. <laughs> really? 6% chance. Alright, end our turn. This is this was part of the problem that I really wanted to restart the uh, Necromancer playthrough when I uh, failed the recording. I had the, up to 50%, so you, you notice I just failed on a 6%. Imagine how many times I was failing with a 50 some 50%. Alright, six deer. I'm gonna ignore you. A nymph. Um, they have a charm spell. Um, strikes anywhere ranged. Uh, affects only one enemy. Oh, well, that's kind of an interesting character. Nothing too special, though. Wait. Let's go ahead and... Um, Looks like the bear's away from us for now, so let's go ahead and take out this back my show that's nearby. Should have all my units. Yeah. Okay, end our turn. Got ourselves a free uh, Solus out of that because of the uh, Bolt of Undeath. Which uh, you probably saw, remember that my oracles kept doing that and getting, giving me Solus that I didn't want. <sighs> gotta be kidding me. Alright, gotta go around. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not something I want to fight right now. Not something you want to fight right now. Go away, go away. Awesome. Uh, I fought the Troll King before, but, um, in the last game, but I had a, I had a hundred something units. <laughs> so, um, it wasn't too hard to take out him and his mum, so... Okay, Wraith and two Ghost Warriors. Really can't fight these guys though. It's not effectively. It would be nice, but uh, let's go ahead and end our turn. Winter's here. I really would like these, but um, well, let's go ahead and do you special power. I want to go ahead and show off the uh, more some of the some of the minor summons. Ghouls. Okay, Nita. That actually kind of boosts my ranks a lot. Um, they're they're okay. They only do one to four with slash damage, which is something I usually don't have very often. And they can disease. Kind of wish it was paralysis, but I kind of understand how OP paralysis is. Let's go ahead and uh, use it one more time. Minor summon. Four ghouls. Okay. Well, I have 22 units against three, so I should be able to do this. Let's go ahead and fight them. I really need to get rid of the Troll King, like, as soon as we can. Oh, we can get some crossbowmen. That's why I really wanted this mine here, because five iron to get crossbowmen. 
Um, you don't really have any ranged summons with, the, with these characters, unless like you get the later stuff, like Banshees or whatever. Let's go ahead and end our turn. God, they always attack my archers. Okay. Let's um, use special power. You feel a strong presence of, of dead here. Let's see how strong it really is. There you go. And now I just feel a presence. I'm not going to do it on a presence. Um, I'm now at the 42 units. That might be enough to fight the, um, the, uh, the Troll King. And I, I definitely need to get rid of the Troll King. But, uh, also something to note, I'm now up to 12, uh, insanity. So, 1 out of 10, I'll not be able to, uh, you know, move. <laughs> so, in turn. Okay. Let's uh, keep moving forward and turn. There's the Troll King again and his buddy. Necromancer Apprentice for 63 gold. Okay. Um, this is what I need to do. I need to have some movement points. Alright. Cancel that, I guess. We can move here. We can, we can definitely take on the serpent. No. I hate when I do that. Get the crossbow man. Alright, well, that was a waste of action. I'll go ahead and save my game anyway. And, uh, accept my, accept my fate. They're gonna take those, obviously. Now they're gonna head upwards. And they're combining the forces. Alright. There's just a forest giant here. 82 hit points. Um, we'll attack with a club once. Units. Okay, this is gonna be rough, but uh, I want that forest giant gone. So let's go and take out the forest giant. And you guys take out the snake. Yeah, you guys can handle the snake. Okay, and turn. Okay. turn. Summer's here. Nice. Let's go ahead and move down. We need to take these back. You are insane. I don't mean that like in a cool, you know, cool way. Like, oh man, you're insane. No, I mean you're crazy. You just, you just went bonkers on me. Okay, since they're taking Ancient Forest, that means that Troll King... Well, actually, he might be going with a, with a partner. I didn't really look at his forces. But I'm going to go ahead and take my Iron Mine back, and we'll end our turn. There she went. Okay. Old Castle. And there's a Cinder. Let's, um... Just a presence, okay. Not good enough. So, if we wanted to, we could transform into a vampire if we had enough hands. Um, yeah, as you can see, he can purify himself by drinking large amounts of blood, like feasting on a uh, village or whatever. Well, let's end our turn. Okay, there you are. I was looking for you. I need you dead. How many units? You have just the Troll King? Okay, and I have a lot of units, like 45, including some archers. So, yeah, I, I want to kill you, so um, we're going to go up and take you on. We should be able to do it. We have archers, so we should be able to out-damage his regeneration. And he only attacks, uh, oh, Infernal Torch. I want that. I need this. I need this badly, because <laughs> with an Infernal Torch, I can burn down that ancient forest. So that's... So there you go. Alright. Killed two units. Okay, that... That's a little annoying. As he's doing. He's gonna kill me with that. I can't believe he starts out with this. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. I'm losing a lot of units. Yep, I'm gonna 
is. Nope. Got him. Alright. Got that infernal torch. But I lost, like, everything. <laughs> yeah, I never seen the infernal torch used in melee before, and, uh... Oh my gosh, are you serious? A catapult? I swear the dumber generator just wants to kill me. Um, I can't do anything against a catapult. Um, this is the, one of the witch summons. It's actually one of the final witch summons. Um, Death Gaze does an entire rank, does 1 to 20 damage every turn, and does a gore, and can do cause fear to the front row. So yeah, it's very nasty. Um, it's very nasty when you fail to um, control it. So what do I got? Slight presence of dead. <laughs> Too bad you can't just raise the troll king. That's something better. So yeah, um, assassin for 93 gold. What I can do is start setting fire to things. That would be kind of fun. What do I have left in units? Not much. Let's go ahead and, um... Actually, let's wait a turn and I'll sh we'll, we'll see what major summoning has for us. Um, I can go ahead and wait a turn, so let's move there for now. And, uh, in turn. The meteor struck down the hills. Not near us, apparently. Let's, uh, use special power and see if we can do major summons. What is that? What did I just summon? Abomination, 131 hit points. Attacks, uh, four t five times? What is that? Oh, it swallows. Okay, it attacks four times and swallows one unit. That is, as long as it's not giant size. Um, does not heal, so that it does get, it will get worn off, worn down eventually. Um, absorb dead. Oh, okay. It gets stronger as it uh, absorbs, as it absorbs dead things, apparently. Um, it has fear and it's mindless, blah blah blah. Okay, standard immunities. So, okay. I, I feel a little bit safer now. Um. Is there anything here, though? Any special power? Cannot feel presence. Okay, and turn. That's what I want to deal with. Stop right there. Don't move. Good. I'll troll. Alright, so... Summons frogs, lots of summons, and can melee. Alright, we have this. We... We can... I think we can take him. If we take her out, if we take out Mom, we shouldn't have to worry about the trolls anymore. So, I'm gonna go ahead and- well, actually, I wanna save. <laughs> I really don't wanna start over again, guys. So, I think I wanna see this abomination at work. It won't be able to do the incorporate, because, um, Mom is a, uh, giant-sized. But, it does have a disease claw. And anything else? Okay, nothing else. Alright, good to know. Let's go ahead and, uh, see what we can do against good old Mom. Okay, and turn. We are winning. Apparently, this guy's getting healed, and apparently, um, this thing has eyes, and I lost one of them, so it misses 10% of the time. Okay, I'm Incorporation allows it to heal, apparently, um, but it didn't kill him, unfortunately. Or it didn't kill the, the troll faction is still alive, unfortunately. Let's, um... We lost our soul list, so all we have now is the Abomination that has 160 uh, uh, hit points as a, with uh, 131 max. So yeah, it gets stronger. It uh, it definitely does. Two goblins, really? You, you want to play this game? Did you just see what I did? I'm gonna kill you. Let's go ahead and recruit some units. We want um, 
Jeez, what do I want? Um, I'll go ahead and just get more, um... Oh, Spearman would definitely be nice, but, uh... These guys only have two hit points. Let's just get Crossbowman. And when the time comes, I'll do more summons or something, I guess. Let's, uh, end our turn. Okay, a lot of units. We, got, we can buy a scout. Did I lose my scout? I can't even tell. There he is. So the giant here is in the way. Use special power. Can I feel presence of undead? Did you eat them? It looks like it. There's 19 units there. Let's go ahead and um, head down. 19 units here. These guys might be a little tough to uh, handle. Why not? We'll just fight them. The worst that can happen is a uh, certain death, so we'll go with it. Oh yeah, it causes fear. Yeah, it causes fear. Is that poison? Yeah, how annoying. But I did stop the sender, so now we have... Are you kidding me? Did I just lose my le No, I didn't. Okay. It just doesn't say all of the units. <laughs> Go here. And here. Oh yeah, I never really checked. Yeah, I'm still good. Chest wound, though. What is all this? Oh, just some sort of dead. Piercing resistance definitely helped. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Swallowed you up. Alright. Let's go up and, uh, see if we can do something about these commanders. Wait, that's an old battlefield. I need to go there. But I'll get the... I'm gonna go ahead and get those crossbowmen first. Oh, that was the... Oh, are you serious? I'm gonna lose because of a catalyst. We I'm gonna die. Um go ahead and get another scout. What we need to do is uh move around, I guess. Just end our turn, please don't okay. So we gotta deal with the catapults and the two deer. Um I think he went just front row. Yeah. So it's just a matter of uh, out damaging him. So let's go ahead and do that by going here, transferring units, and giving me those crossbowmen. Do I still have a scout anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Alright, new scout. take out this catapult and get that over with. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, we'll do that. In turn. Okay, that gaze apparently affects uh, undead. I didn't think it would. Sorry about that. I'm not going to deal with that. <laughs> Alright, be right back.